Hello, how are you? Hello, Fatima, how are you? Fatima, are you there? Okay. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Something wrong with your microphone, Fatima? Fine. Thanks, teacher. How are you? Pretty good. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem, Fatima. As soon as you get it. Thanks. A little tired, but everything is okay. Um, Sure thing, Fatima, no problem. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay, so how was everybody's day today? Pretty good day. It's amazing, but was so hot, but and continue surviving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little hot today, huh? Yeah, okay. I don't know. To me, affect me, affect me a uh, a uh, uh, a lot of hot, affect me the low pressure, blow pressure. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I try to take a, a shower three or four times during the day in order to try to avoid uh, 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 high temperatures. Okay. And yeah. do you take medicine or something? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Only try to do, stay calm and refresh. And yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I understand. Good, how about everybody else? How was everyone else today? Ooh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, Good night. Good evening. <laughs> Over here in a in a rush, as always. <laughs> okay. Great. Well, but thanks God. Here I am. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's good that everyone is here today. That gives us the opportunity to go ahead and practice a little bit more. Okay. Yes, so, please. Exactly. So yesterday we learned a little bit about the ideas of what we should be using, how we should be writing. Right? Yes. Um, yes. We, we saw a sample of the best way to do it. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and continue with the same idea. We're going to be doing the integrative writing practice. We're going to have a couple of writing. We have one integrative writing from 
the platform and then we also have an integrated writing prep okay so the first one we're going to start with is the integrated writing task from the platform okay. i'll share my screen with you so everybody can see okay so there we go this is all right so yesterday we had our integrated uh we learned we reviewed a little bit about the integrated questions um were there any anything that was not clear anything you're not sure about <clears throat> everything was clear teacher yeah and, but... and in my writing i had only 178 words <laughs> written okay. how many paragraphs one two three four four uh, five okay a little short on the words but at least you have five paragraphs so that's the idea try yes. to maintain within five paragraphs and then just add more details to each paragraph and then you'll be easy you'll, it'll be easy for you to get to 200 or 250 words oh yes mm -hmm. that's true. yes because that's if you have five paragraphs with 178 if you add five more words five words in the five paragraph mm -hmm. you have 200 200 yeah. words Mm -hmm. Okay, so just be careful with adding them in. Yes. Okay, uh, Walter, do you have a okay, question okay. or comment? No. Oh, teacher. So I think uh, a, a, a good idea about to, uh, a course, okay. but I think I need, in my case, I need more practice uh, before to take the, the exam, right? But, but in this case, I don't know. For me, it's a weaknesses. Identify some weaknesses is to me is difficult sometimes to, 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 to get the, 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 the main ideas. In in this case, to write uh, main ideas or something like that for me is some weaknesses. That point to me uh, uh, uh help me. To improve to continue to practice that course in order to take and will get good grades in that exam i think that's it it's only a matter of practice and getting yeah. more and more practice in order to get better at it yeah okay so yesterday we had the integrated writing where we had the we now understand much better how to do it right we have the reading that we have to read about um, then we have a listening and then we're trying to match up to the words, okay? Yesterday was about chimpanzees. Today is going to be here, the writing practice test. This one is going to be about asthma, remember? And then we're going to have also a listening and then we have 20 minutes for it. So what do they always give you? An important part is also being able to read quickly. Why? Because you only have three minutes. If you see, you're only going to have a maximum of a few minutes for the reading. Then you have a few minutes for the listening. And then the rest of the time is for you to start writing. So it's important when you're listening, take notes. What are the topics? What are they saying? What do they agree with? What, what are they matching? This is the important. That way you save yourself time. And when you begin writing, you already have an idea of what you want to talk about. You already have an idea of what you want to say. Okay, so we're gonna practice the writing practice test one from the platform. Okay, writing practice test one. Any questions before we begin? No. Are we going to use the same uh, technique, uh, integrated question? Yes, we are. So we are going to have, okay. let me, I'll share my screen one more time so that we can see. Okay. It's going to be the same technique here in the writing practice test. Okay. You're going to have one paragraph. Paragraph is about asthma. You're going to read it. Next, first, so first is read the passage. This one, asthma. Then, step two, listen to the audio clip of the professor giving the lecture. Good. 
Step three, take notes. Step four, write a short essay, 100 and 250 words, answering the question that they give you there, okay? So remember, read, listen, take notes, and then write your response, okay? Any other okay. question? Yes. No, we're okay. Everything is clear. Everything okay. is clear, teacher. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. All right, then. So we're going to have exactly 25 minutes. That gives you uh, three minutes for the listen, for the reading, uh, the listening, and then 20 minutes for the writing. Okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. When you write today, uh, I want you to write it and you're going to put it into the chat when we come back so we can all read it, okay? So make sure you write it into the computer, in a Word document, in uh, wherever you like, in a notepad, because then when we come back to the class, when we come back to the main group, you're gonna copy and paste it into the chat for everyone to see. It's clear? Yes, sir. Anybody have any questions? Okay, let's do it. It's okay. Okay. Okay, so for those that are having problems or are watching this at home, we are going to read and then we are going to create, listen to the audio and then write our answer. Asthma. Asthma is usually seen as a condition whose symptoms can be adequately controlled with the right medicines. Researcher points out that uh, it is an intimate disorder characterized by temporary bouts of inflammation of the airways. Oh, Sandy, what happened? You got lost? I'm sorry, because I am in, in a friend's house and, and the sign up here is not very really good. No problem. So what we'll do is yeah. I'll give you, thank you very much. I'll give you, uh, I'll send you to another group. Give me a sec. Okay. 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 No problem. Okay, so one more time, we're going to read, uh, listen, and then you have time for writing your answers. Asthma is usually, sorry, asthma. Asthma is usually seen as a condition whose symptom can be adequately controlled with the right medicines. Researchers point out that it is an intimate disorder characterized by temporary bouts of inflammation of the airways, which leads to typical symptoms such as wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. After each episode, often known as an attack, symptoms subside and the airways return to normal. 
Asthmatics tend to be susceptible to certain triggers in the environment. These include, but are not restricted to animal fur, sorry, animal fur, pollen, cigarette smoke, house dust mites, and perfumes. Attacks can also be brought on by exercise, emotional stress, or a variety of other factors, including respiratory infection, such as the common cold. During an episode of asthma, the bronchial tubes and the smaller tubes dividing off from these, known as the bronchiolis, become a narrow or blocked, and as a result, air can get in or out of the lungs easily. There are two basic causes behind bronchial narrowing. Either the bronchi or the bronchiolis are squeezed by muscles wrapped around them, rather like elastic bands, or they become blocked by mucus and swelling inside the tubes themselves. When the bronchi are constricted, the condition is called bronchoconstriction. Occasionally, squeezing of the bronchi is normal, but in asthma sufferers, these muscles may react to sensitivity to the environmental triggers. It is also a normal function of the bronchial tubes to produce music and, in concert with the tiny hairs called cilia, to trap inhaled irritants and remove them from the body, thus protecting the lungs but some asthmatics produce an overabundance of mucus, and this results in blocked airways and consequent asthmatic symptoms. Quite a bit of information, a lot about the differences between what is a bronchi and what was the bronchi construction and relaxing also to the what happens with bronchial tubes, okay? So it's important that you go over it, make sure that it's clear for you, take a moment and you say, okay, I understand this, I understand this. Now we're going to listen to the part, okay? And then we're gonna have to respond to it. What does it say? Now, here are a related lecture, take notes. Then write a uh, 150 to 200 word response to the question in 20 minutes. Let's listen. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Fatima, are you having some problems?
Ailey, your partner's left. Ailey. Ailey, can you speak? Uh -huh, Ailey, can you speak? Okay. Uh, Vanessa, I'm going to put you in another group because Ailey cannot speak. And then it's going to be hard for you to communicate with her. Okay? Okay. Okay. Fatima, I'm going to put you in a... Fatima, I'm going to put you in another group because Ailey cannot speak, and then it's going to be difficult for you to communicate with her. Okay, Fatima? Okay. So hang on. Let me change because I see you're having some technical problems. Let's try a different one. Okay. Okay, so let's try it one more time. The idea is, let me share the screen. I see some classmates have a little bit of connection issues. Okay, so here you have the opportunity to read one more time if it wasn't clear for you. You should start already working on it. What is the question? Okay, the, remember it's integrated writing. So that means from the list from the reading from the listening and then you have to write so this essay must summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support or challenge what's written in the passage okay you will not write your own opinion for this task this is the most important so here they're talking about the idea of asthmatic asthmatics and how it helps or how is it affected by uh, bronchioles and what are the attacks and what do they, what happens during them? Then we have the listening. Let's listen one more time in case you didn't get it and then answer the question. What is the question? Summarize the point in the lecture and explain the, how they support or challenge. So you have to listen. Do they agree or disagree with the article? Okay, let me try one more time since we had a little bit of issue there. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, 
It has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Okay, so if we listen to those instructions, what do we get? It says how they cast doubts. Doubts means how they challenge or how they don't agree with the reading, with, in this case. So what do we do? That means we take the points, what is it about? As an example, okay, both of them are about asthma. Introduction, that is our first paragraph, right? Our introduction. Second paragraph is, what are the differences? Look for the difference from according to the listening and according to the reading. How many are there? Are there one, two, three, or more? You don't have to have lots of them, but you do have to have specific differences. Then you're going to write down what is the difference and how do you know according to the lecture, according to the reading, this and this is the difference and write it down and then state how many you have and include that into your first paragraph, okay? So at the end, so now we have our first paragraph. We should have at least two examples, if not more, but at least two differences that are between the reading and the listening. That means that now we have three paragraphs, introduction, two differences, right? Now we should have a conclusion, the last part. So in total, there should be at least four well-written sent uh, paragraphs, and those should give you approximately 200 words, okay? That's how many words you should have, at least. I hope that helps it and makes it easier for you to understand. I keep hearing like a little noise, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, and that's our integrated writing task. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. 
These abnormalities in asthmatics' airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Good. I hope that helps everybody. Now we have the idea. We will now go over the last section of the TOEFL Preparation Course 1, the writing section, Integrated Writing. Question 1, Integrated Writing, read, listen, explain. For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science, any of several branches of science such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology that deal with living organisms and their organizations, life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology, that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, branches of knowledge that investigate human beings, their culture and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history and philosophy. To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form, use points. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Your next task is to show how the lecture challenges or supports the reading. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. Here are some key phrases you can use in your essay. Challenges the reading. Contest, dispute, query, question, doubt, mistrust, object, object to, protest, oppose, resist, defy, face. Supports the reading. Advocate, back, champion, confirm, bear out, corroborate, substantiate, validate, verify, vindicate, help, boost, support. Use verbs to indicate that you're summarizing. Suggest, say, report, tell, argue, Question, ask, conclude.
Okay. So it's okay, Fatima, on what you're supposed to do. Um, I also shared here on the screen um, the idea for the integrated writing task. So you could also listen to it and read it in case you were unable to. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. So did you do it, Fatima? Were you able to do your writing task? Uh, yeah, about the asthma. Yes. I, and I hear the audio. So I just have the problem with my audio. But yeah, I was doing in a paper, but I just could write down one paragraph. Okay. Okay. All right. So read the paragraph to me, Fatima. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. They are talk well. Oh, they are yeah. talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They are talking about uh all and more recently common sickness in the world, asthma. Asthma has been the terror of many young and old patients. There are many researches made by doctors and scientists in order to explain the possible cause from this sickness. Some of them explain that uh the cause of asthma are in the environment. So this could explain that some patients get an episode when they are exposed to these kind of uh, things, such as pollen or some perfumes, uh, etc. Okay. I could write down on Tinder. Okay, Fatima. All right. And that was only one paragraph, right, Fatima? Right. Okay. So, Fatima, you have to learn to separate your ideas and know the difference between writing and supporting ideas and introducing it. In that writing, in that first paragraph that you're explaining, you already have two paragraphs. You have the paragraph of the introduction and you have the paragraph already you are beginning to explain what the doctors say. But you have to be specific because you only use pronouns like they. And they doesn't tell me if you are referring to the listening or if you're to referring to the lecture. Right. So which the reading or the lecture. So you they you need to make sure that they them you may at the beginning, you want to make sure who is they who is them? Is it the doctors? Is it the lecturer? Is it the reading? Because if not, you're not going to get points because your writing is not clear. Is that OK, Fatih? Yeah, we have to be very clear and specific. Yes, that's right. You have to be very clear when you have it to make sure that it's easy for the person to understand. Um, in the next one, I'm gonna give you an example so that we can see an example of one. But thank you very much, Fatima. Okay, thank you very much for writing it down. Good, all right. So guys, uh, Yancy, Walter, Jenny, Sandra, Vanne, William, Nicole, put your answer into the chat. Go ahead, did you write it? Did you write it down? Asthma disease, okay, thank you, Yancy. I see Yancy has, mm-hmm. Okay, more or less. Yancy, not, not too good as an introduction because in the rest of the reading, they don't explain how what medicine to talk about. They don't discuss what medicine to use or how medication is used to control it or anything in relation to the correct medications. This is only one detail, but is not what the main ideas are in the listening or in the reading, right? So you start off very good. Asthma is a disease that's important worldwide, okay? But then you don't make any reference, Yancy, to the reading. You don't make any reference to the lecture. So you need to explain what are we going to have. Don't worry, we're going to have it. Okay, let's take a look at Vanessa's. Walter, go ahead, copy and paste it in there. Go ahead. Don't be scared, Sandra. Go ahead. Normal breathing prior is practice effortless. Okay, great, Vane. That's a great sentence to begin the introduction. And then you have to have more as well. Now, don't worry, guys. It's okay. I just wanted to get an idea to see how everybody is doing. Now, here is the third part that, or another part that many times 
when you don't do the tofu that people forget to tell you. And I want to make sure that you understand. Also, how do you type? How do you type? Because if you are typing like a, like a, like a chicken, tick, 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 a pollo. <laughs> like a pollo, you are not going to answer the question. And this is a problem. This is a problem because then imagine hey, right here. I, I have a question about that. Just watch uh, This part when I, in a, in a exam is manual or in a computer? Depend on you. Remember, we, we discussed it. Depends what do you what do you suggest? Depends yeah. on you. De depend on you. If it's if you are good, my if, head. Yes, if you are good, uh huh. Uh -huh. Then I suggest you take the paper based test. But uh huh. The the TOEFL hang on right in practice hang on, is uh the idea is that you need to be able to type correctly. Mm -hmm. So it means that is if we take that test online is going to be typing right but yes. if we take it uh in the staff for example we are going to write in a piece of paper it, more you'll have your your responses will be on the computer keyboard oh, okay uh-huh yes it's going to be like typing if you take the tofu uh depends if you take the tofu ibt Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and for, okay. And just for teaching? Okay. To the, no. Remember the tofu, the, the one, the, uh, the Salvadorian one. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Salvadorian one, no. The Salvadorian one doesn't have writing. You don't need writing. Oh, no. We are not going to write an essay for... Nope, not For even teaching? speak, not even one word. The hola is not even going to be that on the exam. Ah, I understand. It's just like reading, listening, and grammar. No, that's it. And that's it. Only reading and listening. And grammar. Oh, my God. That's Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting some issues with my connection. No problem. Since yesterday. I don't know why. Okay, so that's why I say it. The it the tofu you have to be clear which tofu do you need, and what is the function of the tofu for you, is not the same for everyone, and depend which one you need is how long your exam is, because Vanessa only needs to graduate. Vanessa only needs to graduate from the University of El Salvador. Okay, so if for Vanessa is five hundred, but. Fatima wants to be a teacher. Ah, so now Fatima needs 551. Ah, now it's different. Okay. But for the Salvadorian government, you only need three areas, Comp which is the listening, the reading, and the grammar. That's why the teachers in the public schools don't have to speak well. It's not on the exam. It's not on the exam. That's why you can graduate and you can be the worst, the worst speaker in the world. Mm -hmm. You can be the worst speaker and you can still graduate because it's not part of the exam. But if you want to immigrate, if you want a scholarship, if you want to go to another country, then you have to do the longer exam. And then you have two more sections. You have the writing section and you have the speaking sections. Those are the other two sections. Okay, okay, got it. Yes, and that's why it's important you're typing because you're typing, that's why you have to be careful when you do it. Okay, because that way you watch your time. Imagine here, I only received, let's take a look. Let's take the chat, okay. I received Yancy's Bane, and that's it. I only received Yancy and Bane's chat, but the 20 minutes passed. Did you finish or you didn't finish? Too late. Es que lo tenía aparte, que ya lo iba a mandar. Too late. You lost the points. You have a zero. You have a zero. 
acaban de pagar 160 dólares para retomar el examen la segunda vez por otros 160 dólares por no cuidar el tiempo acaban de pagar 160 dólares solo para retomarlo otra vez por no mandarlo a tiempo think about that that's the most important part watch your time here I help you In the exam, there is no help. You have a little clock in the corner of your computer. If you don't send, if you don't do, that's your problem. You pay again. For TOEFL, is no problem. You pay five, six, seven times for them. It's okay. Even in the Salvadorian exam, TOEFL, imagine $60, five times is $300. It's a lot of money. So you have to watch the time. You have There are so many things to do, but don't worry. The most important is ah, to learn, learn and practice. That's why we have three, three months for the TOEFL practice. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple more. Good, thank you. Here is a little bit short the chat, but let's take a look so that I can explain and we can see. I think this was part of uh, Fatima's question, or no, I was explaining to Fatima, not Fatima's question. This was, I was explaining to Fatima at the beginning. Remember, the integrated is you read a passage, right? Then we have a listening, okay? We have a short listening. Then you have a question. And here, just like here, imagine this is the exam. Right there, boom, 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 boom. You have to start writing your answer. Write your answer right there. That's where you need to write your answer. Now, we're going to look at an example so we can understand what it means. Okay? Here it says sample essay. So we can get an idea of how to make our paragraphs. Okay? So in order to do this, let's try together. Let's read the first one the short passage, okay? This is about solar energy, okay? So we didn't read it, we didn't listen, but let's look at an example of how it should be done. Walter, can you please read the first paragraph? Fatih, can you please read the second? Uh, Banet the third, and then Jansi the fourth, and we go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The reading and lecture are both about solar energy. The reading passage explores the many supports for the use of solar energy. The lecture then builds of those ideas are present for their information about the benefits of solar energy. Okay, stop right there, Walter. Thank you. This is just so that you see. You see, you have to separate your ideas. No they, no it, no, uh, what, you have to specifically say, what is the reading about? What is the lecture about? Do they agree? Yes, why? This, this, and this idea. They don't agree. Okay, why? This, this, and this. And then in each paragraph, you're going to develop those things, right? But always, you're going to start off with something. Oh, eh, Both the reading and the lecture discuss solar energy. The reading and lecture both talk about. They are both in regards to. They, but you need to make sure that you are specific and demonstrate comprehension. This is the important. Demonstrate comprehension and what is the introduction. Now, Fatih is going to show us the first paragraph. How do we make it? Okay. First of all, according to the reading, The usage of solar energy will reduce the dependency of fossil fuels like oil. It also emphasizes that there are that there are no limitation of the energy, and so it's a good alternative to all energy source. The lecture then goes on to explain that although the production of the solar panels needs a lot of energy, it's gained it back after five years after production. Therefore, on, in the long run, solar panels make up for the energy used in making, in making them. Thank you. Now, Fatima, did you notice that it didn't say, it didn't say in general, 
It said specifically, where did the information come from? Did it come from the lecture? Did it come from the reading? And do they agree? They don't agree. I don't know why, because it continues to explain this, this, and this. So what does that mean? Oh, that means that according to the summary, in the long run, this is the idea that they're trying to communicate, okay? Or in the short term, you didn't have to say in the long run, in the short term, it is more expensive to have solar panels, okay? Different, but you have to explain from where you're getting the information. It's because remember, it's not your opinion. You have to demonstrate where. Yancy, let's read the second paragraph. The second one, the mm -hmm. reading says solar panel can be used in many ways. This is supported support by the lecture through the example for people controlling their energy instead, instead of just relay on the energy company to do it, it for them also. It says that people controlling their own energy limit was waste okay uh the energy limits waste waste okay okay sure now here look at this here they are agreeing and i'm telling you this is supported through the lecture okay oh that the people can do this the reading says this this is one way i don't have to always say the reading the reading the reading i can use synonyms the reading right uh the article according to okay this is a different you can use one or two different words to help you to make a variety but the lecture means the speaking ah so the reading says this okay they agree or disagree in the speaker ah the lecturer says that it's correct why because both of them have this okay let's take a look at the third one Jenny, can you read thirdly, please? Thirdly, the reading passes also give information about the advances of cost. You only have to buy the panels at the beginning, but there are fewer maintenance costs in the next year. The letter also underlined this advance by mentioning additional positive tax effects which offsets the cost of installation. Moreover, people can even make money by creating excess energy and then selling it to other people. Okay. So then as you can see, we continue to talk about positive things. Ah, so here is the first time we use the word advantage. But it doesn't mean that it's, it, 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 the others don't have an advantage. It's only about how we describe it, okay? According to the, here again, according to the reading passage, right? I always want to say, where did I get the information from? Not only the information, where? From the lecturer, from the reading, my personal opinion, what are we using, okay? This is the most important. And the final part, Sandy, can you please read in conclusion, Sandra? Yes, yes, sir. Sorry. In conclusion, the reading passage and the lecture are both about solar energy. They both emphasize the advantage of solar energy because of the renewability. Renewability. No, renewability. I'm renewability. sorry. Renewability. Renewability. Renewability, a characteristic of the energy, the avoidance of pollution and also some financial benefits like less maintenance and positive tax effects. Okay, great. Now here, let me take a moment to make sure that we understand how to make a conclusion. Okay, how do we make a conclusion? Look at the first sentence. What is the reading and the lecture about? Okay, the reading and the lecture are both about solar energy, one. In conclusion, we note that they're both the same topic. This is the first sentence, super easy. The second part, they both emphasize advantages. If they had, they both 
discuss disadvantages. Okay, they uh, they both disagree with the following topics. That's okay too, but you need to explain what is the lecture and what is the reading. Do they agree? Do they disagree? Or do they contrast each other, right? Or disadvantages. And then why? Well, in paragraph one, I am talking about how to save money, right? The characteristics of it, okay? In paragraph two here, sorry, in this secondly, in paragraph three, I'm talking about uh, the idea of pollution, okay? How we can do different things. And then in paragraph four, we're talking about how to save money, the maintenance costs, the tax effects. So then that is the financial benefits. So all I need to do is number one, first sentence, what is this about? Second sentence, I restate, they agree, they disagree, they are looking at comparatives, and then I put down what each of my paragraphs is about, okay? So the advantages are, what did I say in number one? What did I say in number two? And what did I say in number three? And this is going to give me a well-structured formal writing task. It's like we are going to include the main point of each paragraph. Correct. This is what you should include. So you should include, it doesn't matter the question. The question can be, what do they, the lecture and the reading have in common? Okay. What do they disagree about? Okay, what are the differences? What, whatever, but your structure is the same. The structure is the same. First, what what you what did you talk about? Okay, uh, I talked about uh, boats. I talked about energy. I talked about uh, whatever it is. This is the first sentence. The reading and the lecture both discuss ta 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 ta. Okay, they what is whatever the topic? Do they agree? Yes. Okay, they both discuss the advantages of. No, they're talking about the negative effects, the bad things. Okay, they both discuss. They both talk about. They both mention. Okay, the negative or the disadvantages of this. Okay, no, one is about the positive. One is about the negative. They don't agree. Okay. So they disagree or they, they don't agree or whatever you want to use on the following topics. What did you say? Ah, in paragraph one, I talked about economic factors. Okay. They both disagree on the economic factors. In paragraph two, I talked about the appearance, the aesthetic. Okay. They both disagree on the economic factor and the appearance of the article. And then that's the idea. The best way is to always have yourself an idea of what you want. Look back in your paragraph and take the main idea. Look back in the third one, take the main idea, and then you have your conclusion. Is that a little bit better? Okay. Uh, teacher, I have a question, please. Um, what is the difference between a lecture, a lecture and, and a reading passage? I believe it's the same. No, Sandra, but thank you very good for asking me. And I'm going to explain to you the difference and show you the difference. Okay. Do you see here on the left? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So oh. this is a reading passage. This is the reading passage. Mm -hmm. Here, when the person speaks... Now listen oh. to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. That is a lecturer. Okay, class. Today we're going to talk about solar energy. That's the lecture. So when you see or when you talk about the reading passage according to the, sh to the reading, this is this part on the left. When you talk about the lecture, okay, or the speaker then this is going to be from the listening. It's like the audio, the lecture. Correct, correct. And the passage is where we read. The written, exactly. Read, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that is the difference. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, that's good. 
Thank you so much, teacher. Of course, of course. It's good because you need to know the difference because you need to explain the difference and you need to understand because sometimes you're going to say, according to the reading, what are the benefits? According to the lecture, what are the benefits? And you have to listen to answer the question. Not only, oh, I, I'm going to talk about the reading because the reading I understand because is there. But if the question is not about the reading, if the question is about the lecture, you have to be clear. Okay? Okay. All right. Don't worry. Great job. It's only about practice. It's only about practice. But remember, each time is more difficult because you have more things to do. You have to improve your typing. You have to improve your reading. You have to improve uh, your time, how you watch your time. Each one, every time, focus on more details. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you All so right. much. Whew. Class already finished. Like I said, it's fast, but don't worry. We have two more classes. We have two more classes. Have a great night, and I see you yes. tomorrow. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much, sir. Right. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.